Well, I'm making a video standing up because my back hurts and I can't sit. Um, I had to turn the computer on with with my grandfather's knife sharpener. This thing. You know, I put this uh, under the desk to press the button to, t to turn the computer on. I ended up hurting myself anyway because I was bending over too much. Anyway, you see, I'm not sharpening knives, but it's good for something else. This is heavy, too. My grandfather was born in Sicily in, um, let me see, 1874. He uh, came over here in his 20s. Anyway, um, my emergency savings is less than half what it used to be because of three things. Auto repair, the veterinarian, and my dental issues. You see? Things happen. So I've been thinking quite a while if, uh, if it gets too much lower that uh, I've been telling myself, well, don't worry. You could get SNAP, food stamps. You can get a free phone. Maybe you can get Medicaid. No problem. But just this week, I'm thinking that's not biblical. We're supposed to be blessed. But on the other hand, aren't I being a better example and more of a help to other people if I practice and find out how to live on very little money frugally? That's helpful, right? But still, I like everything to be biblical. So I'll keep thinking about that. And uh, in the meantime, I've been applying for jobs for 10 years. Nobody hires me. Now, there is such a thing as age discrimination, uh, disability discrimination, because I can't work like 12 hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. because I don't drive at night because I have a sensitivity to light. And those headlights coming at me at night, um, I can't handle it. Um, what else? Religious discrimination, age discrimination, handicap discrimination. I don't know. Wrinkle discrimination, but I didn't have wrinkles so 10 years ago, just about five years ago. Well, anyway. The, nobody can blame me for not trying. I will, I will keep uh, trying, and um, I'm figuring nurses are really in demand right now because of the pandemic. So there was a job online. It's connected with the government, and it's testing people for uh, COVID. You know, like they'll have a bunch of cars, uh, and the public show up in the morning in some enormous parking lot and they're driving by, and you lean over the car window, and you use a long swab and get an exam a sample of um, their nasal mucosa, and then you explain to them about uh, what you're doing, and then when the COVID results come in, you phone them. So the thing is with this job, which, which appeals to me, uh, is that it's temporary. I don't even understand that because this thing seems like it's going to be with us for, for a few years. But so what? What if the job lasts a year? That would, that would replenish my savings from the dental, the veterinarian, and the, and the truck repair. Or maybe I could, you know, get a new vehicle. I don't know. But the problem with the new vehicle is the, the monthly insurance, right now I'm paying $20 a month with GEICO for, for the insurance for the truck. I mean, 
how much is insurance for a new vehicle? A hundred a month? More? And I try to go out just twice a month. That's a lot of money for me to, you know, go, you know, driving to the store and post office twice a month. And I don't know. So many questions. I guess I have to uh, wait and see. But if everything worked out, maybe it turned into a permanent job, then there's a lot of things I would like. Like a grandfather clock. You know, one that chimes every hour. Silly things like that. But probably would be best to get a new vehicle. The truck is from uh, 2003. And the ball joints are starting to go. But uh, anyway, if anyone's in trouble out there in the city, I could, I got an eight cylinder engine, I could pull them out of the hole. I guess that's it. Just random thoughts again. Oh, I can't bend down. Let me be careful.